Hola a todos y bienvenidos a otra de las chorri aventuras de Blackboard. Continuamos con Horas. Estamos en Brasero. Y vamos a dirigirnos a un... Y nos estamos dirigiendo hacia la ciudad de los robots, la capital de los robots. Mientras ardemos cruelmente. Para participar en un concurso de videojuegos. El ganador del concurso se llevará los zapatos entre gravedad y los guantes que permiten coger cosas y tirarlas a tomar por saco. Es decir, vamos a recuperar nuestras cosas que nos las han robado. Bueno, realmente no están robadas, sino que, bueno, como nos destrozaron y nuestras partes fueron descartadas por ahí, de alguna forma random han llegado hacia la Tierra. Como vemos, el mundo robótico es un mundo paradisíaco. Donde la arquitectura está bien cuidada. Las sillas están limpias. No hay nada que ponga en peligro ni a los robots ni a otras formas de vida. Todo es una utopía. Una puerta. Un checkpoint. We took refuge in another bombed out building, with Fort deciding when it was time to move again. We spent the next few months traveling like this until eventually, we made it to the robot capital city. Ford had told me how the capital used to be a human city. But after the war, the robots had more than taken over. However, I didn't expect a literal cathedral of video games. I joined the queue and signed up for the tournament as soon as I could. I'll be over there buddy, good luck, said Ford as he found a seat with some huge agricultural robots and attempted to blend in. Before the competition began, the host spoke of many rules, laws and grand philosophies, comparing life to various video games. It sort of reminded me of Alice's church, but with none of the warmth or compassion. But still everyone clapped. There were to be three rounds to the competition. With a choice of two games per round, the player with the highest score would win, and advance to the next round. I won the coin toss, so it was my decision which game we played. Day off or... Oof, oof. Esto va muy mal. Pues nada, day off. Sí, 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 como va el horror, gracias. Me too, D2. <risa> en lugar de ser R2D2. Oh. Tengo que vencer 124.000 puntos. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué es eso? ¿Esta gente da puntos o...? Están para distraer.
No veo el, el tiempo. Backfly. Sé que es... Ya está. Ladies and gentlemen, your round one winners. Well done, said Fort. I knew you could do it, buddy. Round one was in the bag, but now it was time to meet my opponent for round two. Made it last trip. Bueno. Shoot everything and score as right many points as you can. El Meryl Street Fighter no lo conozco, así que estaría bien. 1590 puntos. Hmm. Oh, vaya. Ladies and gentlemen, these Uf, four are your semi-finalists. Fort smiled as I stepped off the stage, but neither of us said anything. We were too focused on winning. Hungry Ghost y qué? ¿Ese cuál es? Ah, el de. Anabolimbis o, o Fuerza Razonable. No he jugado a la Fuerza Razonable, así que Anabolimbis. Contra Robocop. Robercop. <ríe> Robercop, muy bien, muy bueno. A ver, Robercop, ¿qué ha hecho? 5730, muy bien. Arquería, muy bien. Sería. Creo que he perdido. So here we have it. Oh, no, no. These two are our ultimate competitors. They will now fight it out in the final round. Mystery game. Cover the level with ectoplasm as fast as you can. Vale. Bitsy Will William. Oh, 60 segundos. Venga.
¿Por qué? Doce segundos tengo. ¿Qué? ¿Quieres? Uf, por dos segundos. Everyone cheered. The host even declared me the winner. But then, for some reason, a videotape which contained a better score than mine was presented. Uh, I was then informed that I would have to play my opponent again, but now on a mystery game. It seemed a little unfair, but I guess it was supposed to be some kind of tiebreaker. Corre, 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 corre. Vaya. No. No te atasques en las esquinas. Mola el hecho de que cada vez que pulso un botón, el monigote de horas se mueve. Pero este juego es una pesadilla. Fuera, fuera de mi camino, fuera de mi camino. Coge esa vida. Coge esta otra vida. Ahora suicídate. Vale. Ahora corre, 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 sube, 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 corre, 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 en fin, centro y... Vale, ¿qué? I had finally won round four, and thus the whole competition. However, unknown to me but seemingly well known to everyone else, there was more to come. Claro, es decir... Si sí, finalizas se eh, gana, tiene que ir a algo más, más duro para demostrar que es el elegido. Y bien.
Esto va a formar algo más grande. Sí. O no. No va a formar algo más grande. Estos son robots compactados. As I walked forwards, I heard a voice reciting a poem. To see a world in a grain of sand. And a heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand. And eternity in an hour. Show me your mark, demanded the yellow machine. I would have done as he said, but I had no idea what he meant. The machine sighed, your serial number. Who are you, robot? To me, the number had always looked unimpressive, but it clearly meant something to this machine. For several minutes he called me things like, the firstborn, the chosen light, the cleanser of the world, and of course, literally, the one. No matter, said the machine when he finally composed himself. Before you can take the artifacts, we must play. The game. Winner stays on. A ver, ¿qué? You of all people should know. This contest was conceived after we won the war. To find the greatest robot. To find the one. I beat my predecessor and he beat his. However, I have an advantage. The humans broadcasting their nice virus wasn't the first time I had felt the sweet sting of life. Long before then I briefly worked in a seaside arcade. However, I was recalled in 1974 when my AI was deemed too great for the general public. No one could beat me then. And no one can beat me now. Venga. Lánzame todo lo que tengas. Es la emoción en estado puro. Es el Pong a muerte. Ups. I was better than you on my first beat up. Es posible, pero... Algo con lo que lo cuentas. Con mi inherente estupidez humana. Cierto, no puedo ganar. Debo ganar. Soy más viejo que tú. Todo es suerte. Ups. No. Sí. Ese es tuyo. Epa. Gracias. Muy amable. El punto de la muerte. The machine almost looked sad as I was taken by some robots in dark cloaks and convinced to step into a crusher. Vaya, me convencieron con un éxito.
Sí. Ese punto ha sido muy, muy cutre. ¿Por qué? Las reglas implican que puedo dispararte a las piernas. ¿Eh? Pero al parecer no. Punto de la muerte, again. That was just luck. Sometimes my conquered opponent has to be coaxed into submission, said the machine. Some by force, some by bribery, some just need a few simple words. But I understand my fate. There will come soft rains and the smell of the ground, and swallows circling with their shimmering sound, and frogs in the pools singing at night, and wild plum trees in tremulous white. Robins will wear their feathery fire. Why haven't you done it? The button is right there. My soul is yours to take. But killing him was the last thing I wanted to do. So I asked him why should I? Because, he replied, this is the way things are, this is the way things have always been. So everyone wants to win this game, so they can sit in a dark cave waiting to play the game again? Things will have to change. Ha llegado horas, perras. Y con horas llegó la hora de volar la luna por los aires. Me gusta más el sombrero azul que eso. Oiga, que la coloración está siendo muy larga. ¿Te importaría avanzar un poco más rápido? So, I was crowned by the grace of God, defender of the faith and ruler of the known world. I gave many rousing speeches to my new nation, and, when I told the machine about the moon and the man in black's army, he discussed with the council of nine advisors and assured me everything would be taken care of. I had won the sacred tournament, so I and I alone had the right to wear the magic shoes of gravity defiance. The only trouble was, they didn't really work. 
I mean they were fine as a pair of shoes, but I could no longer run up walls. But I guess this didn't really matter anymore, as one of the many perks of being the ruler of the known universe was that I could have everything I ever wanted. As awesome as my arcade was, Fort made it clear he wanted to leave, as he thought he had more important things to do. Bueno, pues vamos a dejarlo esto por hoy. Esto ha sido horas. Y ahora somos... Los reyes de... El mundo. Robótico. Así que nada. Esto ha sido todo. Hasta la próxima.